Welcome to Gotaku's three episode test. Each week, we watch one of the hottest anime shows of the season and tell you if it's worth your time. This week, we'll be taking a look at My Dress Up Darling. The show follows Gojo, a young doll maker with a penchant for sewing, and Marin, a popular high school with a love of cosplaying, as they slowly develop their respective crafts while being met with the many difficult growing pains that define high school relationships. <laughs> The show's writing is strong and nuanced, with each character attempting to navigate complex feelings without addressing them directly. You know, like high schoolers do. However, the show's almost total focus on the central couple can make their slow burn relationship a bit exhausting. It could also benefit from turning down the perviness by about 30%. Sure, it's a show about young people growing into their sexualities, but the show's preoccupation with Marin's body can become genuinely uncomfortable at times, especially when the show manages to navigate other aspects of sexuality like porn and humor with grace. Visually, My Dress Up Darling is totally fine. The animation is functional and the characters' designs are strong, which is exactly what a show like this needs. However, for a show about cosplay, doll making, and fashion, I Dress Up Darling doesn't do much to make its fabric sing. Different clothes don't have different textures and every fabric in the show ends up kind of blending together. Hi. My Dress Up Darling is shaping up to be the best rom-com of the season and one that's well worth watching for fans of the genre. If it can stop its slow burn relationship pace from dragging with the more fully developed supporting cast, it may become a real standout in the extremely crowded rom-com market. Thank you so much for watching Kotaku's three-episode test, brought to you by Acura.